In this video, traders would answer the question, should you start trading with a large pot? If you've got access to money, should you use it straight away in your trading account? Hey guys, warm welcome to you. Thank you for tuning in. So, this is a question, should you start trading with a large pot? So, let's imagine somebody has um, a large amount of money, whatever that's from, whether it's from savings, whether it's from business, whether it's from inheritance, whether it's from winnings, from lottery winnings, whether it's from uh, you know, a rich friend, doesn't matter. The point is they've got a relatively large pot. Let's call it 100 grand, because for a new trader, 100 grand is a pretty large pot. Okay, now imagine that, that amount of money as well is quite meaningful to them. So what I mean by that is only if you watch the videos before, you kind of know that I, I put this into perspective. 100 grand to somebody who's got a, a billion is nothing. It's like a grand to someone who's got 100 grand. You, you get the point. The order of magnitude is irrelevant. So 100 grand, meaningful. So in other words, that that amount is meaningful to you. So if you've got a million in the bank, 100 grand still, you know, 10% of your, of your worth or whatever it is, it's still reasonably meaningful. You've got half a million, you get the point. So that's a meaningful amount. So the question is, should you start trading with a large pot? So let's say you've got 100 grand, let's use that for example, say that's gonna be different for each person, but a perceptively large pot or perceivably large pot. So should you take that 100 grand and start trading with it? So I'm not gonna beat around the bush here, guys. My answer to this is no, and I wanna tell you why. Because the fortunate or the lucky thing that we've got with trading is that there is no large capex requirement. There's no large capital requirement. If you wanna start out mo many other businesses, your 100 grand will be swallowed up in a heartbeat. You wanna open up a bar, there's not gonna be enough to refit it out. You wanna open up a restaurant, that's gonna just about do it if it's a small thing, again, Probably not going to be enough, uh, especially if you're going to have running costs. In fact, it's nowhere near enough, right? Fitting it out, running costs to get it going, marketing to get some people in through the door. Just the initial boost, you probably need another zero on that, or at least 500 grand, depending on where you are in the world, obviously. But you get the point. Even if you're opening up a, let's say you're opening up a garage, there's a car mechanics, you're probably going to spend 20 grand on equipment in there. If you're going from scratch, you're probably going to have an employee cost. You're going to have to rent a unit out. You're going to do this. You know, it's going to take a big dent in that. Anyway, the fortunate thing we've got with trading is that we don't need that to start out. We can get the experience that we need by starting out small. So we can go, all right, let's see you've got a hundred grand. S chop it into tenths and go, okay, I'm gonna start off with 10 grand, okay? And frame the whole process as I am going to learn for six months. Right, I'm gonna learn for six months. I'm gonna stick in 10 grand and I'm going to allow myself to lose, let's say four grand, let's say five grand, let's say two grand, whatever it is, pick a number. So use that as a tool. So that part of it is the tool or the leverage you need, the margin. And then you've got from that, stemming from that, let's say you've got 4K risk capital. It might be less, it might be more, whatever. The point is, if you're assuming you've got 100K, this is how you might do it. You say, right, I need to say, that I'm, it's costing me four grand, and four grand would be what you'd pay to go on um, some kind of good course, some kind of good, uh, whatever course it may be, or maybe you'd pay, you'd pay much more for that if you're going for university. But the point is that's reasonably cheap for decent education, isn't it? It's reasonably good value for good, solid education. So six months, as long as you have got a process where you are learning, that's good value. Because you're gonna have experience, you're gonna learn, maybe you put a little bit aside, you know, another, another grand or two for actual proper learning, whether it's with courses or books or kind of this or that, the other, so you, you maybe have some money allocated to that as well. But the point is, you would use just four grand risk. So after that six months period, the worst case scenario is you're down to 96 grand, but you've got six months worth of absolutely wonderful experience that if you go to it correctly, and this is a kind of pitfall that some people make is they go into it trying to make money. They don't learn anything. Yes, they kind of realize it's tricky to learn this, learn that, but they've not documented enough to go, right, this is my mistakes, these are my mistakes, this is, this is that. 
if this was me and I was starting out new and I had that kind of cash starting out from new, from trading and I didn't know trading, it's exactly what I'd do guys. I would say six months, I'm gonna risk a certain amount of money. And by the way, that could be a million, that could be 10 grand, whatever. The point is, is splitting it. If it's 10 grand, let's say you've got 10 grand and you say, right, I'm gonna put one grand in, I'm gonna risk 400 quid over the six months, 600 quid. Maybe you have to risk a little bit more just because of the nature of the size you're trading, but you get the point. So learning and then, there's no point in putting that bigger money at risk until you've got a strategy in place because that's the beauty of trading, you don't need to yet. I know the temptation is right, if I put 100 grand in there, if I make 25%, I'm gonna make 25 grand this year and, and that goes through people's minds. But the point is, you don't have to make it, and the point is as well guys, is that most people in the first six months, if not all six months to a year, are going to lose money trading. You know, if we take that statement as a fact, then why not lose a little amount? Because let's say the best case scenario is this, right? Let's say you've got, over your year, and let's say you'd like to make 25G, you say, okay, six months, I'm gonna be minus 4K because I've learned. Perhaps the next six months, you really get it nailed down. And that might not be a year, guys, that might be four years, but you get the point. You might lose a little bit, then when you start to get better, you might start to make a little bit of money, maybe you make a grand there. Now you can say, well, I've proven this, I'm gonna put a little bit more money to risk. Okay, then maybe you make 10, okay, maybe you make 50. Before you know it, you may be at the, the kind of goal that you had in one year, two years of 25,000, but you've gone through this process first before you've kind of dialed it up because so you've learned with that small amount. Then when you've kind of got to the feeling where, you know what, I think I've got a strategy that's working well, I got a feel on my emotions, I recognize my vulnerabilities, my weak spots, etc. Now I can dial in a bit more risk because you've got that risk. You can start to push some more capital in. Then all of a sudden you can undo all that 4K. That's your, that's your training costs. All of a sudden now you can make that 4K back and you can start to be making some. Now, is a year, maybe is a year's a little bit short, I get that, but in reality, let's imagine that's you know, two years, three years, four years, whatever it may be. The point is that initial kind of learning cost is low. And that's the key guys, is keeping it low. Too many people I've seen, and I've seen this and it's, it's devastating. People go in and have got a big chunk of money, maybe they've sold a business or something, they've got serious money. They put it to work and they're kind of swinging around making 50K, 60K, losing it, this and that and the other. And it's devastating to see they them losing big chunks of that money when in reality, you know, they're making it harder for themselves because they're learning, they've got the emotional kind of pressure of moving, swinging big lines around, and they're not learning the actual process. They're like, oh, 100 grand up, 100 grand down. Wow, oh, emotional throwing to swinging massively as opposed to you know, dialing it right down. So just learning the craft, learning what's going on. You know, if you think about anything that's required a decent level of skill, to learn to fly, you don't get stuck in a 777 with a load of passengers going from New York to London straight away, right? You learn from small, you learn in a little two-seater Cessna or whatever it may be, and you build up, you build up, you build up, you build up. And you should look at trading like that. If you have got the ability to go out and buy a 777, you probably wouldn't do it straight away, right? You'd learn still on a Cessna because the consequences of getting it wrong are wrong. And I know there's legislation and stuff involved in that, but you get the point. So no, if you've got a big, a big pot guys, don't stick it all in, chunk it down because accepting that you're going to pay some tuition is the biggest thing that will save you money. If you don't accept that and you start chucking all that down and you're down 40 grand, what would you prefer to do? Learn the same amount of knowledge and skill and experience that costs you four or just learn the same amount of knowledge and cost you 40. You can choose the price. You can choose how much it's gonna cost you to learn and go through the tuition. If it was me, I'd be choosing the four. All right guys, take care, whatever you're doing, bye-bye.